Good day to you from Living Room Requests. This is a song called The Bird on Nelly's Hat for Paul. And, and the, that's well, Matt Redman. Uh, it is. This is a zither banjo that so you've seen on this channel uh, many times indeed. You may not have seen one elsewhere and so it may not be novelty. Or you may have always seen one and wondered, what's that sort of wooden banjo thing? Well, I'll tell you later oh, about yeah. some other First old we're going to sing. Mm. <laughs> Saturday, Willie got his pay, then he'd call for Nell. Trousers neatly pressed and nice white vest, buttonhole bouquet as well. On Nellie's little hat there was a little bird, that little bird knew lots of things it did upon my word. And in its quiet way, it had a lot to say as the lover strolled along. I'll be your little honey, I will promise that, said Nelly as she rolled her dreamy eyes. It's a shame to spend the money, said the bird on Nelly's hat. Last night she said the same to Johnny Wise. And to Nelly, Willie whispered as they fondly kissed, I'll bet that you were never kissed like that. Well, he don't know Nelly like I do, said the saucy little bird on Nelly's hat. In a shady nook by a quiet brook, Nell and Willie fish. Lips together meet in kisses sweet. Love is such a dainty dish. Pretty things galore But everything that Nanny said That bird had heard before And as he took her hand And said, oh, ain't it grand Nelly winked the other eye Now I haven't caught a fish What do you think of that? Said Nelly with a most bewitching look You can bet she knows her business Said the bird on Nelly's hat And Willie is the fish she's and a hawk. Oh, it's twelve o'clock, said Willie as he took her home. I bet you're never out as late as that. Well, she don't know Nelly like I do, said the saucy little bird on Nelly's hat. dream all wrong will went round to call servant with a grin said she's not in nelly's gone away that's all poor willie's heart was broke his life seemed all in vain until upon fifth avenue he met his nell again said he we meet once more said she loves dream is o'er but we can be real good friends and i'll keep your presents honey just for old time's sake said nelly as she rolled her dreamy eyes she has fixed him good and plenty said the bird on nelly's hat oh willy willy when will you be wise well but how about the diamond engagement ring of course, said Nelly, you'll return me that. Well, he don't know Nelly like I do, said that saucy little bird on Nelly's hat. Well, he don't know Nelly like I do, said the saucy little bird on Nelly's hat. So there we are. I didn't have a I didn't have a hat with a bird on it. I I looked everywhere. See taxidermy shops. I tell you what, if you had like some very 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 extreme entire 
frame filling Edwardian hat with fruit and birds, people would go, oh, I'm going to click on that video because oh, it's a I visual know. thing. Mm. Yes, but you know, taxidermy. I and also I'd have to be a ventriloquist because every time the, the bird would speak, I couldn't move my my mouth. It would have to actually sing. I'd have to get a singing ventri ventriloquist bird thing well, on my I, hat. I that thought, would be a novelty. I decided to go like that instead. He did a lot on that instrument. You should have had a, that, that. He did you know, a lot. Remember that little bird that you fill with the water? Oh yes. Well, no. The whole point about the this last bird, couple of times it speaks. That's true. Well, it that's... speaks. It's lovely. What a wonderful song. It was, this one stayed popular. I think it was, It was. I remember it on the, the Muppet Show, which dates me, mind you, with the internet and the eBay, eBay, YouTube, one of them. Um, with YouTube, you know, you, everybody knows the Muppet Show. So that's It's amazing it. how many of these songs, well, from the 1900s, 1910s, the 1920s, 30s and 40s, constantly stayed in popular culture through cartoons and, you know, live action children's television and films. I wouldn't know the percentage, but it, it's a percentage given enough that they're still there. They're still and there. And still watch. Still watch. It's wonderful. Things don't go away. Um, this also, it was so popular, but it's interesting. This is a little hat. It says she has a little hat, which would very specifically date this, although the song itself comes from 1906. But there were a whole bunch of picture postcards from the time showing this bird saying things. And I'll share them on the Instagram. Which is Patricia Hammond's songs and you'll see on them. Instagram. And then you'll be made aware of when other videos are. Because we know, we were just saying this actually. We know nobody follows one person, you know, f forever. YouTube, no. And watches every single video. No. I, I severely doubt everybody sees their greatest whatever field they're into influence on Instagram every single time, comments on every single thing. It's no, just you like go the world's not phases. like yeah, that. Yeah. I mean, maybe it is when it comes to traditional things, like in the UK, some people like to watch the BBC News at six o'clock every single weekday, That's regardless of, of yeah. you know, national morning periods, international pandemics or anything else they just watch they keep, it it's, yeah but then that's only one thing isn't we it? we don't that's one flatter thing. ourselves to think we're an institution like that no but that's one thing isn't it whereas no. whereas yeah. where now you've got all these flying elliptical orbs of information that's true you just need that's a true. change that's the whole true, point yeah. is you need yep. to change but if you do want to stay you can subscribe to patricia hammond songs like this video so that maybe in your interneting journey even if it's three months in the future, it'll throw one up again, won't yes. it? Yes. That's the beauty of it. It's unusually warm today, by the way. That's why I'm dressed Wearing like so this. many flowers. Well, that was just because to compensate for lack of hat. I, I just, I just, to compensate for lack of hat. It's like a lapsed hat. It's Can you post a thumbnail here. that makes up for lack of hat? Oh, yes. P thumbnail. There we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there we go. I'm pointing to the invisible hat in the thumbnail, which you will have already seen. Through the miracle of technology. Thank you very much for coming. And um yeah. I did promise to tell you about this, the zither banjo. Oh yes, do yeah. It's an instrument uh, originating from the late nineteenth century. So I'm sure obviously many people know banjos are a much older instrument than that instrument than that. But this was a, a popular incarnation in that time through to actually <clears throat> All trendy big, young men had one in about yeah, 1908. Yeah, the, begin, the beginning of the jazz age, really, when people became much more enamored with playing the plectrum banjo or, or the tenor banjo with a plectrum and with metal strings. This has nylon and gut strings or um, a combination of, I should have said nylon or gut strings, mm. nylon being a later invention after the 30s like we use on classical Thank guitars. goodness, says all but the cats. The, yeah. But... Uh, Basically, it's really it's really awkward to play because it has this this V shaped neck. Obviously, I'm used to it by now, but most people used to playing guitars and modern banjos and things uh, like that. If I just keep twisting it; they'll eventually see. Oh, so people feel that against themselves and, and go, think, "That's that wrong." That can't be wrong. That can't be right. Yeah. Oh, but it's it's an angle and it's a design, it. and it's called the zither because if you look at the <laughs> the the concert zither, like in uh, <clears throat> Germany and Austria. It has it has all of this engraved metal like this in a head just like this with five strings and and it was just a, a very popular instrument at the time so they literally called it that
That is <laughs> There's so no other funny. Reason. That is so So, you know, funny. I don't know if you know the concerts of the, you know, like Karas plays in the third one. It's got like a table of strings here. Not too dissimilar. He from, bought one on eBay and it broke immediately as soon as it was tuned. This is a type of zither. It's a Automated table of strings zither. like this. Yep. And it has this fingerboard attached to it. We played it a little bit on this channel when we played Vienna, My City of Dreams and uh, also yes, his zither. a couple of other ones. The but fated it's broken, zither. unfortunately. Well, he I actually, it. you know what? I don't have it. Even. I, I'll be honest, folks. I do not have it anymore. I sold it to a chap who's going to fix it as, as he's a hobbyist uh, instrument marvelous. repairer. I love restoration. And, uh, you know, some years down the line, yeah. he's going to bring it back. He'll be very sorry is great. what he agreed to do there. Whenever anything breaks or I lose anything, I always think, well, you know, in enough, given enough years, everything will destroy in a fireball when our sun explodes. So it's all one. But, the, but really matter, in the more no. in the more immediate thing, it's really nice when things can be salvaged, restored retained recycled love it rehomed it's great no, never waste anything i mean look at this instrument this instrument went to the western yeah, it's front around. it's been to france in the first world war may live to and tell the tale you know it's still just like an instrument isn't and it? now it lives you know a much more hectic life i imagine than even then as you know part of matt's entourage of various musical instruments that, that is very it true. gets loved and used and resounds throughout the world for anybody who's been watching this channel for numerous years and uh and or this this living room request hashtag living room request series which you can actually click on in blue there um i just want to tell you i'm not i'm not actually married i'm engaged and my fiance is a very <gasps> different engaged. uh type of uh, individual who asked me to marry her and gave me a ring to be in, uh, engaged, which is not common. Not common. Because you people, said two percent. Two percent of women. Two percent, apparently. And I think even fewer That's give great. a ring to the man. So um, he that, wears it with pride. As, if you as, have if noticed, for anybody who's watching my hands, that's what you'll have noticed. And the first thing he did when he picked up an instrument was he went. I tried to use it as a. He slide. tried to use it. He's like, there must be a way I can use this. Don't don't tell him. <laughs> it is adorable. No no no, he didn't say that. Not like that. But he he always explores every possibility. No, he's it's adorable. It's really lovely. Congratulations to them both. Thank you. So um, subscribe to Patricia Herman Songs, and while we're talking about other instruments do subscribe to a channel called G minor. We'll link it in the description. This is possibly the last time that I might, or second to last time I might mention this because some <laughs> people have subscri extra. subscribed to it are probably literally sick of hearing about it. But mind you, it's some just people- It's at the very end. Yeah, people it is. Will, it's will only for people who are genuinely interested in old instruments. Hello, Go there, still find watching. out about it uh, because we do look at different types of guitars, different types of mandolins. Banjos are in there. Weird and wonderful. And uh, harps. And then we play some songs at the end. It's G minor, like the surname minor. And um, it'll be I, in the description. It will. And I'm in the the other side of the camera filming Greg Minor talking about his instrument collection. Does a very good film. Does a very good film, you know. He could be hired too, probably. If you pay him enough money, he'll come and film you. Depending on where. Yeah. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Wrong button.